welcome to all the viewers who are with us and this is the first edition of what we hope will be uh, at least weekly if not more than once a week it's the, the new indian express is a show on um, the internet called uh, time pass and it's time pass but with a little bit of a difference we're hoping that everything that we tell you from um an array of experts over the weeks uh, will be of some use to you so it's not time pass just for the sake of time pass but also useful uh, just to introduce quickly the people we have with us we have kavita devgan who is uh, one of india's foremost dietitians weight management consultants and writes really wonderfully and easily about things that you can do to um you know be on a diet she's tried for several years to convince me to <laughs> to be on a diet but has uh, failed but uh, that's not because she's not good it's just because i'm lazy uh, we have suparna trikha who's again one of india's foremost uh, wellness gurus um, and does all kinds of wonderful things at home she'll try and do as much as she can uh, in the limited time that she has today and we have megha kohli a lovely young chef uh, I first saw her I think about 10 years ago Megha wasn't it I think she was really yes. she was a baby yes. then too uh, she was at Olive and uh, she went on to Lavash by Sabi she really is a very innovative uh, uh, and wonderful young talent to watch out for so we'll begin with Kavita and hello to all our viewers and please feel free to send in questions uh, uh, what I want to do is to ask questions individually to each of them so that uh you know we do about 10 minutes with each of the uh panelists and then uh you can get to ask questions and then we go on to the next panels the uh, panelists so that they don't get uh, waste time uh so kavita we start with you i think everyone is looking at uh you know immunity because i think that's the biggest question now the virus obviously will get to you if your immunity is weak so what are the things that we need to eat what are the things that we need to Uh, keep stock of uh, and since we now know that the lockdown is going to last longer uh, what can we make do with given what we have in the fridge hi hi everyone thank you kaveri it's an absolute pleasure to be here in the first edition of yeah. time pass which i'm sure is going to become a lovely entity as time passes <laughs> uh, so today as you said the first question in everyone's mind is about their immunity whether they have a strong immunity or not yes you know, basically whether they'll be able to give the virus a skip or not mm. or will they succumb so we are all stuck at home there is no doubt about that and there is no confusion about that there is no other choice because there is no cure for this virus and prevention is our only only bet so it's necessary right so in fact i feel that we should use this time very constructively and try and build our health to a level where we are not just able to shake off this pandemic but you know consider health as a continuum and make our immunity so strong that we are not really worried about anything being thrown at us later in future as well and because, uh, because kavita as you know all virologists are saying that uh, this is just the first of several viruses that is going to hit us uh, over the years now precisely that's the point which is why i am again insisting that we have to look at we we only start thinking about our immunity when a pandemic hits us yeah that's really wrong you know the fact is that we have to keep working on our body as and when and all the time frankly and now is the best time now that you have the time and you have the motivation mm. and you stuck at home fortunately or unfortunately yeah. so i think this is a perfect time to start working yeah. on your immunity right so that you know what i hope everybody understands what immunity is it's mm-hmm. not something that you can test or you can you know uh, take a temperature of to figure out how strong it is or not mm-hmm. the only way of knowing it is whether you fall quickly uh, sick quickly or you know you don't fall that quick uh, sick that quickly and we also here i must add need a strong good immunity because if you do catch the virus mm-hmm. it is our immunity which is going to decide how quickly we are able to get out of it Right. In the circumstances, whether you being high, you know careful about your hygiene and not really going out, that is great. That is needed. I mean, there's no choice there. But at the same time, building an immunity is really important to make sure that you stay safe now and also later forever. Yeah. So how can we really go about it? You know, uh, this is something that uh, you know 
that which has a answer in a very very basic basic solution frankly i everyone knows that i'm a huge fan i share that old is gold frankly yes and i feel the solution for this also lies in our past hmm the simple way that we used to live and the old and the traditional rules of eating that we used to follow trust me if you try and thrash them today all the answers for having a strong iron clad immunity are there hmm. and today when we have our children captive at home i personally feel that not only should we build our own immunity but make sure that they get a habit system yes. which ensures that their immunity is so strong that they really are never ever at uh you know at risk later in life as well when they grow up right because if you work on them now it will become part of their habit system right so i feel you should just use this opportunity to the maximum feed right. them the right foods and not just the foods you know first we really need to talk about certain basic habits right which actually can help us you know all the researchers now are even the west is waking up to the fact that there was something really solid in all the traditional rules that we were following you know why a little bit of ghee was always put in the fulka no. why we always used to have cut onions and you know green chilies with our uh, food yeah. why now homes earlier that dinner on the table at the same time every day together with everybody was totally non negotiable right. you know and all these things are now being the value of all these things and the benefits are now being proven mm. okay so here since we don't have so much time i'm just going to mention three basic rules yeah. first then go on to the specific foods right. which i feel are very very easily doable today especially unfortunately as we are stuck at home yeah. you know for in fact i would say maybe fortunately we are stuck at home and it gives right. us the opportunity to practice them yeah. even if by force you know yeah. first is instead of relying on processed food the traditional diet always always you know depended on home cooked food right and today we don't really have a choice <laughs> but to cook at home so yeah, if right. we go back to this and yeah. we make a habit out of it you know we eat home cooked food and make a make a meal out of it you know make it feel like not a chore but actually something that we are enjoying doing the children are going to take that on they'll it'll you know rub on to them and right. hopefully it will become a habit and they'll enjoy it so much that frankly they can continue to eat as well following this system right that is a brilliant opportunity for us as of today hmm. one we don't have a choice second we should just use it and take it as an opportunity hmm. second eating fresh and seasonal food yeah. now that is what we're doing every day because of the scarcity we're just buying whatever is freshly available and making it so right. that again is a good thing for us we must benefits of it the fayda that it is right. good to us right third the community aspect of eating yeah. Yeah. together i think this is a good time and everyone in his home enforce this habit right of making sure that all the gadgets the books the phone everything is away at meal time everybody sits down earlier it was a habit now it has become you know almost like a forgotten uh, way of eating right. maybe if we can enforce it maybe in one meal to begin with every day mm. and then take it over to the second meal and the third meal eventually we have enough number of days for it to become a habit <laughs> you know so i feel these three simple habits if we yeah. can start practicing them and which these are all no brainers frankly but still we don't do them you know so if we do that i think lockdown is a perfect perfect opportunity to emulate this simple traditional way of uh, eating and cooking at home you know yeah. taking out cookbooks and making food at home you don't have to be a chef or a cookbook Uh, you can just make simple food but make it with everyone's uh, you know everybody gets together and makes it and then it becomes a ritual of sorts eventually hmm. uh now coming to specifics because yeah. that of course everybody needs quick hacks and we must talk about that hmm. all the basic rules apply for immunity first of course that you must watch your weight hmm. every excess kilo on your body means there is more uh, you know uh, burden on you to keep you safe it's right. i mean i'm just putting it as as uh, blankly simply as possible yeah. sleeping well is possible very very important getting out and sitting in the sun is very important yes. especially today we all keep talking about vitamin d but you need all the vitamin d your body can make today yeah to the virus at bay 
but that said there is no bypassing the importance of eating right no bypassing the importance of eating right there's few foods which i'm sure the foods that i'm going to mention today are already there in your pantry okay. you won't really have to go hunting for them because mm. that's the whole idea yeah. and in fact that's the beauty of these everyday yeah. foods you know okay. you don't really know the importance of them okay. but before i come to food i need to talk about water first because okay. that's again ignored so much yeah. okay? that's the first nutrient i must i mean you everybody must consider for boosting their immunity hmm. even a small percentile dip you know dehydration in the body can down the immunity big time that's not something to be taken lightly at all hmm. you know the drinking 8 to 10 glasses of water whether you're sitting in a pool room or not is like absolutely non negotiable and kavita warm water is preferable or uh, you know should it be sort of room temperature No, room temperature is fine. Yeah. Warm water has different benefits. It keeps your metabolism. Superna is Superna is immediately having a glass of water. <laughs> Drink of water. Yeah. Even this water is absolutely essential. You know, here everybody, I face that every day in my clinic. You know, people find it really difficult to remember to yeah. um, to drink water. Yeah. So I have a very simple way of teaching them. There's something I can probably just share here. Yeah. Just. Have two glasses of water the moment you get up in the morning. Right. right? Begin with one if you find too difficult, and build it up to two. Yeah. And then fill one liter bottle of water uh-huh. and hook or by crook. Whether you have to put an alarm for it or not, finish uh-huh. it by by one o'clock. Right. And then refill that same bottle yeah. and make sure you finish it before your dinner. Okay. That's the easiest way, frankly, uh-huh. to ensure and keep track of how much water you're having. Okay? Yeah. And if you do this. You'll be fine. So that's the first thing that everybody must must start tracking their water intake. Right. Right. Then, of course, I have to begin with haldi. Yeah. That's our, you know, export to the world, hmm. and everybody knows about the benefits of haldi. And yes. the biggest of those, I mean, there are like thousands of benefits, but the biggest of all is that it's a strong flu fighter. Right. The curcumin in it is such a potent, potent virus fighter right. that. having a pinch of haldi every day is absolutely non negotiable again in fact i say uh, today to keep the viral infection away kacha kacha haldi da, uh, is okay like the one you use in your so the haldi brilliant but the fact is you might not be able to source it today yeah, yeah. some people are really lazy to you know make it like that yeah. so if you have kacha haldi simple just shave a little bit of uh, haldi and boil it with milk add a little bit of pepper and have it the you know at bed time If you don't Otherwise have, you can use the masala. Yeah, just but make sure that you source the right pure haldi. Right. That in right. it is you should for your cooking also. Yeah. So just put a pinch, add a little bit of pepper, you know, yeah. to your and have it at bedtime. Okay. Now here, a lot of people face trouble because a lot of people can't handle milk. Yes. I can't personally. I am lactose intolerant as well, right? Yeah. So what you can do then is just boil some water, you know. Then add some ginger, some pepper, and a little bit of haldi to it, okay. and have it. It's again similar, so you right. could do that, or you can add it to your buttermilk and have right. if you can right. handle butter or almond milk. But just have it. Make sure that you have a little bit of haldi. It's really a potent infection buster, right. and that pepper is essential because you need to absorb that curcumin, and pepper is needed for that. Okay. So don't forget that pinch of pepper. Right. So do this either early in the morning or at bed time. If you're doing the milk, do it at bed time. If you're having it early in the morning, you can have it even in water. Right. Then the second thing I want to talk about is that you know, and please tell everybody that whenever you eat gajar ka halwa, please eat it without guilt. <laughs> really, honestly, it's one of the best things you can do. Unless sugar is an issue, you know, then there are other ways to have carrots. The yeah. carrots you must eat because okay. the beta carotene in them is again, because it gets converted into vitamin A in the body. Right. It's again really an essential ingredient, you know, to boost the production of infection-fighting killer cells in the body. Hmm. There's a direct connect. So either have gajar ka halwa or have gajar ka juice hmm. or just strong pan gajar. In fact, raw gajar is even better, frankly, because the beta carotene. Uh, you get all of the beta carotene right. when you have it raw. Okay. Yeah. So then, of course, the other easiest thing to source, and if I, but most people don't, unfortunately, is amla. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So 
vitamin C is the other nutrient that you have to keep in your pocket in the, at this time and amla is the best way to get it it's loaded with vitamin C mm. so either have just the amla juice early in the morning mm. or you can just you know shred it and keep adding it to anything and everything you can add to your salads i even add to my soup okay. you know or if you again the murabba for children especially yeah one amla murabba day is the easiest way to make them have amla because they yeah. might not like the juice you know frankly mm. of course nimbu we have to talk about nimbu and i'm sure every household has nimbu stocked up yeah <laughs> your lemons is absolutely essential because we have to make sure that we keep our gut in an alkaline situation right and is the best way to make sure that you know it doesn't really get acidic because yeah. when it gets acidic that's when the bacteria and the virus thrive in our body so if we keep it the ph at, at the place where we want to keep it then lemons can really help there right. so have again the way your grandpa used to do it one cup of warm lemon water early in the morning yeah. is the best way to do it for children maybe just make a lemonade with a right. few mint leaves and yeah. keep it handy So if they want to drink something, that's what they should go for. Yeah. Freshly squeezed lemon on everything everybody is eating. You know, like poha, yeah. your salads. Those yeah. are the things that are very easily done, but we forget. Yeah. So it, again, yeah. they should be done. Now flax seeds, hmm. you can still have it all of April. Maybe from May onwards, you need to cut down on them because they're really warm. But now you can have them a little because they are one of those rare vegetarian sources of omega three, which we need again. for a striving immunity system so add it to your hmm. you're a porridge person oats person maybe add it to that but if you're not that then you can probably even add it to your dal right i just adding it to your dal mixing it up and nobody will be any wiser and they will go in you know yeah. your children's uh, diet right. as well <laughs> yeah yogurt yeah is another important thing and this is a habit that i feel if you can teach your children today to have a cup or two of yogurt every day and preferably and made at home kavita preferably made at home but if you can't then get hold of uh, yogurt but have it hmm. the point is uh, if i keep insisting on me uh, tell you know that you must make it at home i find that most people tend to just skip it <laughs> so, yeah <laughs> but rather that you know i tell them that of course it is the best you know but if if that is not possible these days you can still make it because you have the time right yeah, yeah. but if you do and you might not be able to source fresh dahi from outside so maybe right. make it at home now yeah. but even if you can't idea is to have yogurt right. at least to up for everybody one that's not for protein and calcium what i'm talking about here it's again for the good bacteria you know because half most of your immunity uh, system stems from your uh, gut like i mentioned earlier also right. Right. so it's really important to keep your gut really happy so if yeah. your gut is not happy then you you know you are bound to catch something or the other if not this then something else yeah. right okay. uh spices that spice dabba is the best medicine you can <laughs> even think of you know what we have and it's so underrated frankly yeah I see people using just three spices. You know, it's like salt, uh, lal mirchi, and maybe garam masala, just to you know finish off the thing. But there are so many other salts, like yeah. turmeric. I've already mentioned. There's yeah. cinnamon. That's yeah. corn. There is cardamom. Tulsi. If you have a tulsi plant, nothing like it. A little bit of ginger. So you take all of these, boil it in water. You know, clove. I'll just repeat them again. Clove, right. peppercorn, yeah. turmeric, cardamom. Right. Turmeric leaves and ginger. Right. So you just boil it, strain it, okay, and then just sip it. Right. But if you find that a little bitter or something, you can just add these spices. Some of them, or maybe all of them, or in totally your choice. Sometimes some of them, and then just drink it with your tea. Yeah. Use that cup, you know, that chai cup that we have at least two times a day as a potent infection fighting vector. I personally feel it's the best way to take in uh, what we must, you know. And in any case, tea is such an excellent relaxation tool. I don't know about you, but for me, it's like yeah. really one of those relaxing things. Yeah. And relaxation and busting stress and keeping it away is one of the best ways to fight flu. Great. Thank you for so that. much. Thank you so much, Kavita. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll now bring in Suparna and really taking off from uh, what Kavita has been talking about. you know building our immunity 
um uh, the other the other big aspect superna has of course been the whole idea of you know washing hands taking care of your skin you know taking care of your hygiene and really that's where you step in superna because how does one deal with this whole uh, 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 the hygiene issue and get take care of the skin because that's so important as well thank you kavita that was really uh, wonderful but i think we may just be coming back to you so if you want to stay with sure, us for I, a little while longer we it'll be great i'm around yeah. yeah so hi everybody and kaveri uh, thank you so much for having me on this uh, first edition of indulge and i think this is what this first edition should really be about is indulging yourself yeah. uh, i take uh, the lockdown to be yeah. a blessing in disguise right. because i meet people practically every day when i speak to them about skin and hair care there is only one sentence i hear from them and that is we don't have the time right so now you have all the time in the world to indulge yeah. pamper discipline and look after your skin and hair right and first let's as you said we have certain issues because uh we're stuck with things like this which is hand sanitizer having uh, 70% of alcohol which dries out the hands as well as regularly washing the hands right so you need oils on your skin which are going to be ripped completely right i am going to show you a very simple little home ingredient which we have in breakfast every day which is oats hmm. so you just need to take about 1 spoon of oats hmm. and i've put it into a bowl and the simple glass bowl and i am going to add a little bit of water to this hmm. oats are something which are a soft thing hmm. in fact you'll find oat meal and oats to be in a lot of softening creams so when you start reading labels mm. especially of products which are into ayurveda you can mix in milk also so i'm just mixing this i don't know whether you can see it but it's just becoming like a one thick taste and you take it at the hands after washing your hands with uh, uh you know a hand wash or a soap you just rub mm. these oats and leave them for about 5 minutes so i'm going to leave these oats on my hand this can also be used on mm. your face because i know a lot of us who do not have house help yeah. strawberry are now cleaning keeping swabbing so their skins are like subject to dust and grime all the time right. and uh, the weather changing we're into spring yeah. so uh, you know the, the skin can be very really leathery and dry and right. uh, lack luster leave this oatmeal until it dries and then just rinse your hands with water after 5 minutes right. and you will find that you don't even need to use a moisturizer or a cream because oh. your hands or your face become super soft in just 5 minutes interesting so huh? it's a very simple thing. and uh, you know something which can be imbibed but then again like what kavita has also been talking to us that what we are pr- propagating is nothing new it's not a rocket science right it's, you don't look at skin cooking slowly cooking healthy these are all things which our great grandmothers our grandmothers used to imbibe into yeah. their daily lifestyles right and uh, people have been talking about slow cooking they've been talking about you know uh, meditating doing yoga drinking yeah. water yeah uh, you know looking after the skin and hair it's just like brushing your teeth hmm. so we as adults tell our children when they're growing up to brush their teeth hmm. every day Uh, but how many of us tell them to clean their skin yeah none of us yeah so when you meet somebody for the first time you don't look into their mouth the first thing that you see is this yeah and it's never looked after in our growing years it's just wash your face and, you know come and eat or go and you know sort of go and uh, have food yeah. so now i wish you bubbed it off because my hand was dry and i don't have a tap Hmm. and i can tell you that there is a marked difference between both my hands i mean this is feeling like really baby soft hmm. so this is a uh, i should say a lock a lockdown tip which any of you can do and if you don't have oats in the house you can pick up barley you can hmm. have jaw so yeah. jaw also will have the same result hmm. and um, i think disciplining because uh, I have a whole team of therapists who work with me. Hmm. So pampering for me has never been very difficult. Hmm. But 
I have come to realize that you can do very simple things yourself, and because we're cooking, all these ingredients are available for you in the kitchen. Hmm. So, uh, if you are a person who suffers from something like open pores, hmm. are you going to go and make a fancy mask? No, you have a very simple ingredient here, hmm. which is high on vitamin C. It's excellent for the skin, and tomatoes are slightly acidic in nature. Hmm. So, all you do is you cut the tomato in half, hmm. and you rub it onto your skin hmm. you start rubbing it especially on areas which have open pores which hmm. means the nose the cheeks the chin hmm. and the forehead and hmm. you let it dry completely hmm. wash your face with cold water and hmm. you will find that your open pores will start shrinking slowly over a period of time then there's one more uh, question from chidat chidatmika khatua okay. uh how you know tips for pimples for oily skin especially now in orisha being in very uh, being very hot what do i do for oily skin, for pimples on oily skin that's a question for oily skin for pimples on oily skin that's it that's a good advice advice drink at least 10 glasses of water every right. day right. because acne and pimples again start from within right so uh, you need to flush out your toxins There's right. only two ways to do it. One is to drink water yeah. so that you flush out toxins through urine. Yeah. The second way is to exercise because it helps increase blood circulation. Right. Besides this, at home you can make a very simple wash uh, with uh, about five tablespoons of multani mitti, full of earth, to which you can add the paste of two teaspoons of neem leaves. So you just grind it in a mixi, or you can do it on a silver tub. Yeah. Add two teaspoons of fresh neem paste and one teaspoon of camphor. Yeah. When you have mixed these ingredients, take a teaspoon at a time. Add rose water yeah. and just wash your face with this. You can leave it on as a mask, and you will find slowly the oiliness in your skin will reduce. And besides this, because camphor and neem both are antibacterial. they will also help reduce your acne and pimples so there you have a very simple remedy wonderful i think there are, uh, you know lots more questions for you i'll take one more and then we we'll go on to megha uh, uh, lots of questions of hair fall again so i think we can club them together uh, uh, one on hair fall and one on uh, dandruff so let's do it And here for on the second on dandruff. Uh, all right, so let's let's tackle dandruff first because dandruff again is an internal problem. Much as many people think that using just a anti dandruff shampoo is going to solve it, it's not. Right. So um, the internal causes for dandruff. Let me just tell you, it can be a prolonged illness. Mm. It can be lack of taking adequate water. it could be an inadequate balanced diet mm. it could be depression mm. it could be lack of exercise it mm. could be lack of a proper hair care routine right. so if if these are right. any of your causes you need to change you need to right. eat healthier you need to drink more water right. Right. if you have been suffering from an illness right. then uh, you need to take supp- vitamin supplements and add lots of fruit and vegetables to your diet so that you know your body immunity improves and uh, your hair also becomes right. healthy right. especially protein so dairy eggs meat, meat and fish these are things which you need to take more to kill the dandruff in the hair you need to use a combination of two things which i think work very well one is massage your hair with pure coconut oil right follow it by applying the juice of one full lemon Uh-huh. So you basically you don't need to put uh, you know the uh, oil on all your hair. Just massage the scalp mm-hmm. and apply the juice of one lemon for half an hour. Right. If you have a right. microwave oven in the house, wet a towel, put the towel into the microwave for about three minutes, and use it as a turban. So you have turban therapy. <laughs> so it's basically creating your own spa in the right. house. Wonderful. We have everything available. Yeah. So let's make the most of it. do this twice a week along with eating healthy drinking water and you will see that within the next two weeks or until the 30th of april your dandruff <laughs> will disappear and i promise you that and i think the last question subarna for as for hair fall yeah. 
that. So dandruff also causes hair fall. So if you have dandruff, first treat your dandruff and then treat your hair fall. For hair fall, again, it can be an unbalanced diet. All of us are tending to have a lot of comfort food. So what we need to do is we need to add much more raw foods into our uh, diet. Like right. most salads have lots of fruit, have high fiber so that your metabolism increases and oil your hair. Hmm. Uh, almond oil is excellent. It has high contents of vitamin E. If you don't have almond oil and if you can get your hands onto a good quality Mahabringraj oil, that is the best. Which I am going to tell you Mahabringraj. Okay. Right. Bringraj right. herb is one of the best. It's known as the king of hair, mm-hmm. of herbs for the hair. <laughs> so, Brahmi, Brahmi again is very good. So, if you have a Brahmi oil or a Mahabringraj oil, if you have neither, I will give you a recipe for a hair mask, hmm. which is again very simple. Hmm. Two teaspoons of shikakai powder, hmm. two teaspoons of avla powder, and two teaspoons of rita powder. Hmm. Mix these with one egg and a little bit of milk and apply it to your hair for about 45 minutes and shampoo your hair after this and always condition the hair. Hmm. You know, uh, we are subjected to so much of pollution, dirt, and dry. That is important that you condition Abla, Rita, Shikakai because again we are all in quarantine and lockdown. Yeah. Please just use the following things. Two eggs whipped up very well. Yeah. Add the juice of one lemon. Right. And if you can, mix two fruits. One banana mashed or you can actually puree it into a blender. Mm-hmm. Add to this mixture of egg and lemon. On from the scalp to the ends of your hair, hmm. rub your hair with a shower, leave for about 45 minutes and shampoo your hair, and you back, you will become you will have much, much more healthier hair naturally. Thank you so much, Abana. This is really very, very I think we can go on, but you know, we'll have to uh, call an end to that. Uh, we also have Megha waiting. Thank you so much, Abana. Uh, Megha, thank you so much for being so patient. We are going to end with you. You're going to thank tell you us. Me, thank you. And you're going to tell us something uh, that you can cook at home in a very simple and easy to make fashion, uh, given that we're all under lockdown. So I'll just teach a really simple recipe of using leftover rice. We always have rice in our uh, in our fridge. So you can always uh, mix up rice with something and create a separate dish entirely on, on its own. Right. So I'll just switch the camera and I'll start making it. Yes. So today I'm going to be making tamarind rice. Uh-huh. So for that I have uh, used ghee because ghee is really good for the immunity. So I've used a little bit of ghee, two tablespoons of ghee in, in my pan. And I'm going to just add some mustard seeds and I'm going to wait, uh, let them splutter and along with that some methi seeds mm. and we'll just let them splutter nicely mm. before we add our whole spices which is just some uh, two whole red chilies, mm-hmm. curry leaves <laughs> It's spluttering huh? And just a dash of heat. A dash of? Heat, heat. Okay, heat, yeah. And uh, usually I use oil, but since, uh, since ghee is really good for boosting the immunity and that's what we need these days, I'm using ghee right now, these days to make uh, this recipe. Now I'm going to add some chana dal to this. So mm. I already had some cooked chana dal that I'm putting in this. If you don't have cooked chana dal, you can omit it from the recipe or you can just uh, just add raw chana dal and just mm-hmm. saute it for 2-3 minutes longer Right Now I'm going to just add some peanuts Uh huh So these will just enhance the flavour of the rice and will give the rice different textures the entire dish Right Some dal and some peanuts And now I'm just going to add the tamarind extract So if you have like a, This is how much rice I have so I have yeah. it, uh, around two cups of rice, so I'm going to add one cup of uh, tamarind extract. Right. And along with that, I'll add about uh, one and a half teaspoons of halvi. Oh, good. And uh, half to one teaspoon of red chili powder, depending on how much chili you would like in your, right. your rice. And some green chili and salt. 
you can omit the green chilies i usually like my food to be spicy and in these days everyone is saying that add green chilies to your diet to boost your immunity yeah. so, so let's do that yeah <laughs> So now I'm just going to uh, let this cook for around two to three minutes before huh. I add my my rice. And uh, wh- uh, how did you do the tamarind extract? Uh, did you get imli or how did you do? So that? I got imli and I soaked it in water. Okay. To, in 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 hot water to to get the extract. Then I strained it out. Okay. So how long did you soak it? For around uh, five to ten minutes, ma'am. If the water is hot, then five to ten minutes is fine. Hmm. Mm, it looks nice. It must be smelling really good, huh? Yes, it smells really nice. I was just about to say that. I wish we had a button for smell as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So my now, husband, who's a food critic, always tells me if it smells nice, then it has to be good. Yeah. <laughs> Their parents doesn't really matter that much. I think it's the smell that has the maximum. Yeah. Maximum role. So now you can see it bubbling away. I'm just going to add the rice into this. Nice. So like, even if you have one bowl of rice, you don't need to worry that oh God, now what should I make? Right. To, uh, you know, go with this rice. Should I make a curry or should I make a stir fry? You can just. Rustle something up like this, right. and uh, yeah. So this is this is done. You can also add prawns to this, and prawns and tamarind go really well. Right. Or you can perhaps have fish with this, or just maybe some crispy fried vegetables. So that's up to you. But um, this rice tastes pretty good as well. Looks very nice, huh, Suparna? It feels like <laughs> yum. I wish we could add not only the smell but the taste button so we could. <laughs> So that's why in less than five minutes, the 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 rice is being cooked. Super. And so yeah. your dinner's ready, huh, Suparna? Uh, I mean, sorry, your not Suparna's dinner, <laughs> but Tegha's <laughs> dinner. Yeah. So my 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 family reaps the benefits out of all of this. Great. I just Thank you so much. <laughs> and these are things. That this is something that you can do very easily at home. Uh, yes. And you can. What's best with it? Stir fried vegetables. Or maybe uh, with this, yeah. I, ma'am, I think prawns go the best with it. If you just uh, sauté the prawns within when you're sautéing the tamarind, because they they cook really fast too. Hmm. But apart from that, I think you can do uh, crispy fried vegetables. Like you can just fry some vegetables and then just put them on top. That will give like a really nice texture to the rice as well because the rice is really soft. And now I've just plated it. I haven't garnished it. I'll just show you. Yeah. Oh so, wow! Looks lovely. Yeah. There you go. I wish we could join you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mega. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. So, Parna, we had one last question for you. Uh, what if you don't have eggs for the hair for hair fall remedy? Someone's asking. <laughs> have eggs? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Take make a paste of curry leaves, two uh-huh. teaspoons of curry leaves, right? Yogurt and lemon juice. Okay. This, if you don't even have that. Fenugreek methi seeds is something which is again very easily yeah. available. Yeah. Mix curry leaves, methi seed paste, and yogurt, okay. and apply it to the hair. That's good enough. Great. Thank you all so much. It was such a lovely Thank uh, you. experience, and uh, you know it was great to have all of you as part of our first uh, time pass. Hopefully, we'll do many more, and um, we'll we'll have many more viewers as well. Thank you very much, all of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.